Hey guys, it's Tommy Do for the squad back here. Today we're gonna do a review on my opinion of New Holland Skid Loader. I used it a little bit. And our John Deere tractor. Can't do the excavator because that's gone. Hey. Dog. Hem say it. Cummins. 2500 Bighorn Edition. Come blow if you like that. So we're gonna go up here and just skid load it first. Um I didn't really I could really think of anything. I'm in my good shoes. I can't really move these though since this one is mine in the tractor. Tractor. I can't really do anything with. So, um, yeah, guys. Well, I got to use this skid loader a little bit. It's pretty nice. I did it for some digging and I moved it around so we could get this tractor off the. I mean, no, this track off the trailer. But. I didn't get to take the track off. Um, that's something I couldn't do. So, yep. Right here, I I like this placement. It's a throttle. I like this. Place. It's pretty dang easy. I, I it's hard to read these. I don't really. I've used them. It's got AC. It's nice. Um. Okay. Got your parking brake, aux over override. And I don't really know what that is. Um, road lights, work lights. Here's it on your AC crap. Um, joysticks, pretty simple. That way, that way. Then. You got a foot pedal down there. Hope you guys can see this. The foot pedal down there. And I have no freaking idea. Oh, that's a lock. It's a hydraulic lock. I actually did not know what that was. This is our neighbor's skid loader, so I don't really I don't know all that much. Yeah, there's a AC vents. <laughs> So, yeah, this thing's pretty dang nice. He has, uh, forks for it. He's got forks for the thing. He doesn't have uh, another bucket for it to take off the teeth. This is, so you have to take off the teeth doing this. If you guys have seen Roman Atwood, yeah, he's got two different buckets because he's rich. It's a track machine. I kind of think this is pretty cool though. How they have that. If you're wondering how, how it just doesn't push back. So it's kind of on a slight angle. And it'll push up. Pretty dang nice. Um, let's see if I can get this. So there's the engine. Really, all you can see the exhaust right now. Oh, here. Here's my tractor. Well, our tractor. Right now, we got the sprayer on it. We got a quick hitch. We have to set this so high so we can get our other attachments to fit. So, you can't close these. So, the only thing that's holding this is the hook. We have a two inch ball on it, but we put a hitch receiver on it. We can put a chain, hook something up here, or put a, an actual hitch in it. We don't really use that too much now. Um, there's your three point thing. Uh, I can't raise it up because the tractor isn't on and I don't have the keys with me. Um, here's forks. You can remove the forks. They're just attached to the bucket. 
I actually took this off. My dad said I wouldn't be able to take it off. The reason the bucket isn't all the way down, though, is because under here, there, um, it's got some metal, so it won't go all the way down. It's got these pedals. I like these. Kubota people say that that one pedal where it's like that, they say that's better. I don't really like it. I don't have a foot throttle. We do have a mount for foot throttle. <clears throat> Goes to 2500 RPMs. Got a PTO. Sprayer switch that broke. Um, cruise control. Parking brake. Which is set. This is to uh, lock the hydraulics. It's your hydraulic. Tip the bucket down. In, up, and down. Hydraulic oil, four four wheel drive switch. Um, blinkers. Got your hazards. Um, those are your standard lights. Lights with hazards. Got your diff lock right here. And I'm gonna go over here. Here is this thing's got a min mount PTO. It's not a drive over, which sucks. One auto connect. Got your rear PTO. You can do both PTOs. Then get min mount PTO. Got low gear, neutral, high. What I don't get that Kubota does is there's a medium gear. It doesn't even make sense. Why would you use it? Just use a low. It's better. I turn this one into a clutch, so you have to press brake, then clutch. Whenever you want to shift. You don't technically have to do that. The reason this one's in right now because that parking brake's on. Take it off right now. <sighs> See? It'll come back. That's what I need. The, uh, the turning thing on the wheel. I think that's smart. And... Hmm. Right, there's our trailer. We, we don't use it to haul that. Because he lives right down there. So he can get it. We can get it to him. We use that for a track. You can see the tire marks are on it. Because we had a track on it, which is rubber. So that did that, and then the black got all over. So, got a pile of rock and a pile of minus because we were doing this trench, and then we also got to fill in over here with rock. We did have it filled, but we had to do a lot of digging. Um. This weekend, Saturday, we're going to build a retaining wall, too. Snow plow. My dad does some snow plowing. I live here in Missouri, though. Just in case you're in a different state, yeah, he can't come. We can't come plow for you. Too far. Here's our box blade. This used to be here, but that was too low. It was too low for us to hook up to, so we had to move it up here. And. It, Used to just be, we couldn't lock it in. So, yeah. And that's a free chain because um that guy that used to live over there only had some these toolboxes right there. They were over there. He said we could have everything that was in them. Everything that was in them. And the toolboxes. So here's our plow. You can turn it, angle it. It's not one of those where you can swing it over. It's pretty nice. We had to move these with the forks to move it. Because it, before it was just on the rock. There's a roller we can't use because the guy we bought this from, um, he still hasn't given us our roller arms for that. So we can't use it. 
Here's the toolboxes. This one, pretty basic to open. You just gotta press down like that. This one, you had he had a lock on it, so you had to press this in and do that. Well, we just put this here to help out. There's a lot of straps in here I didn't know about. Didn't know about all that. Got a pallet of salt for when my dad does plowing. He does salting too. He's trying to. He put himself on Craigslist to try and get get some extra money in for the winter. We had some tires. I don't remember why we have those. Some extra bucket lids I found on the side of the road. Those two traffic cones. I don't know if you can see them over here. He let us have the that guy over, that used to live there. Let us have them and that rebar. That's our old grill. We got a new one. Back here. Buckets are pretty light duty. Got some wood. This wood is from that I'm standing on is from a deck. That's from our trailer. Those are the sides that we had for that trailer. We took out the flooring because it started to rot and much. One of our our neighbor over there, his tractor, when it worked, and now we got it working again, but when it so he let us borrow it. Well, we knew the thing was rotted, and the t the tractor tire just fell through. It's a two wheel drive, so we're lucky we could have gotten we got it out because it was light. Got a pile of bricks from when we were taking down our buddy's deck. That's a job box from that trailer when my dad bought it. Um, that's what it came with. So. Oh, that's what, um, that's what I got right now. An excavator that we borrowed down here so we could dig these trenches. I dug, I dug over here. I dug from about here all, all the way to there with the mini excavator. So I dug that trench. I wonder what they're doing over, over. Holy crap. Over there. Uh, that's the guy that we borrowed the tractor from. Well, we didn't have that tractor. Oh, so, yeah, that's what I got. I want to give you guys a little, little look-sees in my shop. Well, not mine. It's my dad's. But, yeah, I'll give you a little look. I cut through here because I don't know if my dad's got a car in there. You can't, and I know it's raised up. You can't raise it up all the way. You can't put that up. Got my mower. Crap. Flat tire. I think it's a lot of flat tires. Um. Yard tools. Boot up. I use a tiller. Got a GMC. My dad used to use it for plowing. That's the plow they had. Salter. Plows back there. That plow is for that truck. It's a Dakota Dodge 1500 Dakota V8. It's a first gen, I think. This is his first plowing vehicle. Um, It's a GMC Blazer. I don't know what year it is. It's mower. It's my grandpa's car. He died. Uh, Chrysler. Dodge second gen over there, and Do Dodge Durango over there. He had a lot of cars. Well, he does bowling, so he's been working with all this crap and all that stuff. This is mine, along with that little air compressor. That's my daddy's air compressor up there. Um, it's my toolbox, my workbench. My dad puts crap on it. Um, some kind of crap. So, it's a shop vac. Mm -hmm. Jack, his other workbench, his other toolbox, and here's our golf cart. I didn't know that was on there. 
got a lift to ninth out. Oh, it's on the other side. Um, yeah, nine thousand lift capacity. We put that Dodge first, second gen on there, and it it works no problem. Got a table saw or whatever. No, not table saw. Chop saw. Ow. Uh, got some pegboard. All that crap. Um, shell for wood. That's the um, mid mount mower for the tractor. Um, here's our Murray. It's a 68. It's a Murray 8. 68. 68. No, 36. 36. Well, I think 30, 68. I don't know, that sounded right. Um, shelf, salter. Got a little uh, pallet dolly thing. So, yeah, that's what I got. Really, what I got. It's hoping to do a game video a little bit when I was playing my games in my basement on the Xbox. But, um, the phone died, so I had to let it charge. So, yeah. I'll do another video on what's in my basement. Yeah. So, um, I'm gonna give you guys another look in that skid loader. So I'm not gonna be able, you guys probably won't be able to see it for a while, so I'm gonna see oh see what the skid loader's like. So that that one's a new Holland if you were wondering. I always thought it was a John Deere when I was younger. He used to have a backhoe. Cause he did trenching. He's retired now. John Deere HST 4110. Uh 410. 410 loader. You can correct me on that if it's a 40 410. Uh, um yeah, yeah, it would be just four, four, four ten, four, four ten. That's my neighbor. He's got a lot of stuff. That's for that all for his tractor. Yeah, give you guys a look. Oh yeah, I don't remember what kind of seat this is. But yeah, Let's see if you guys know what any of this is. PowerPoint. Let's see that. Be gone. Hazard, high flow, turn signal. Okay, get that. Um, windshield, windshield wiper fluid or something. I think that's what it is. Um, low speed, high speed, horn. This is a horn right here. I've actually never seen it either. This right here. It's a horn. And sorry guys, this isn't very good quality, but this is from my phone. And I just started YouTube and so going on YouTube, so yeah. If you ever want to know how you get out of this thing, um Bobcat and some other brands I think are over here. New Holland's over here. Pull down. I'll do that. I like this handle right here because I'm pretty small. So I can so I can push from here. Cause I'm freaking I'm only five five two. Five two without my farm my farm. Or arms up, so can't reach too far. And I'm sitting down, so. Get some landscaping rock. Oh, yeah. We're building. Just a little uh, area over here. I'm going to put papers in. And put that in. So, that rock over there. So, yeah. That's about what the video was. Sorry if it was pretty long for... Something like that, but yeah. 
Oh, I got some other equipment over here. I'd like to show you. Hey, got some pavers. Got the pavers, I guess. We're gonna use. Well, I don't want to step in here. Got a spreader for fertilizer. You might use it for throwing some seed up top. Got a roller. Um, aerator. Drop seeder over there. And another aerator. That's the first aerator we have. We had, we got the drop seeder and the big aerator for free. So, yeah, that's a video. Well, see you guys. Peace.